So today we're going to light the smoker. That's what this contraption is. Um, it's really good to have in beekeeping. Um, this is some grass that I used to plug up the hole where the smoke comes out from last time. So we're going to put that over to the side. We use the smoker to calm the bees and to direct traffic in the hive. Uh, the smoke that we make is really cool to the touch, so it doesn't really hurt the bees. It sort of masks their ability to communicate with one another because uh, they communicate through smell. Okay, so I am putting a little bit of newspaper in here in the bottom. And I'm going to light it. Get that going. Drop in some of my jute. Use my hive tool to poke it in. And pump the bellows just a little bit to give it some oxygen. When I first started keeping bees, I wasn't doing this quite right. And the fire that I got was really, really hot. And I was scorching my bees. And they were trying to tell me by stinging the heck out of me. But it was a while before I figured out what they were trying to say. We can use this dried grass that I had in there earlier. That'll do pretty well in there too. And this is left over from last time. See, this is a nice smoke. It's cool to the touch. It, uh, it's going really well now. That's how it ought to be. I'm going to close this lid. Like that. And the smoke just pours out. Um, and you just give it a few puffs. And that is how you light a smoker. Uh, so I got my smoker, got my hive tools, gonna check the bees. So whenever you're gonna work a beehive, you either approach it from the side or the back. Never the front, because that's sort of their runway. They're going back and forth, uh, going out to get nectar and bringing pollen back inside. So we're gonna approach from behind here. Oh, I'm gonna remove the feeder that I've placed at the hive entrance first. I'm just going to take this away from where we are. Next step is to smoke the hive entrance just a little bit. This is a hive tool. It's essential. Every beekeeper has one. You'll see why I need it in a second. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. This is what's called the inner cover of my hive. Uh, you might see this dark orange stuff all around the top and along the sides. This is called propolis. It's really sticky. And it's kind of, uh, it's bee glue, basically. It's their version of Elmer's or whatever. They use it to seal up cracks and, and uh, just anywhere where they have a foreign body in the hive. They cover it with propolis. Uh, it's an antibacterial, actually, and it's really useful. They gather uh, sap from trees, uh, and that's that's essentially what it is. 
takes a lot of sap to make a, this much propolis. Okay, we're prying off the inner cover really gently and really slowly. Smell that beeswax. Smells fantastic. So, what I'm looking at is a new super I put on recently. In it are brand new frames with beeswax foundation that I, it's man-made that I put in here. And so far they haven't drawn any of it out. When I say drawn out, I mean they haven't made the honeycombs yet. Uh, but you're going to see as I go down here a frame or a box or two. Okay, so we're going to go make the bees go down a little bit by smoking them a little bit. And I have to pry these two supers apart because they have really, look at all that really gummy, sticky propolis in there. So I'm going to move this off. Gonna smoke these guys. I should say girls, because these are all worker bees and the workers are all female. See how when I add the smoke they go down? That's what they're supposed to do. This looks like a really nice, super full of stuff. So, this is my frame grabbing tool. I'm going to use that to pull out a frame and see what they've been working on. Oh, which frame? Let me do this one. This may take a minute because it's all stuck with propolis. And some bees use more than others. Try to be really careful, not hurt anybody. My heavens, look at that. This, at least on my side, is capped, beautiful capped honey. Look at that girl with pollen on her legs. Let's turn it around on the other side. Ooh, looks like I damaged some of their honeycomb when I was trying to get this one out. Sorry, ladies. They will repair that, though. This bee right here is doing a waggle dance. Uh-oh, we're getting smoke in the picture. She's doing a waggle dance to tell the other bees. I found something really fabulous over here. You need to check it out. Pretty neat. 